All right, hello and welcome to the Matchday Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St. Mary's Stadium for the tie between Southampton versus Leicester City. We are currently bottom of the Premier League and I'm wearing all black because I kind of feel like this might be a funeral or a new awakening. Uh, results elsewhere in the league have kind of gone our way. Spare a moment silence for Bournemouth who were two up at uh, the Emirates Stadium but conceded late to lose 3-2 uh, but with West Ham losing and also Leeds losing kind of feels like a door's been left open for us but we have to get a win Leicester City have conceded a lot of goals but they do also score a lot of goals they've actually conceded one more goal than us in the league in this campaign but with only 19 goals in the league for Southampton so far this season it is all to do looking at the lineups um, kind of mixed feelings I think he's going for a one up top with Shea Adams starting but it's good to see Kamadine Sulemana perhaps in a more wide role where he's perhaps going to be a little bit bit more dangerous in terms of breaking open this Leicester City defence. Notes on the Leicester City side, Madison is starting so he's back in their side so that's going to be a boost for them. But like I said, we have got to get a win. Jack is on his way but he's rushing from work so anyway, let's get this one done. Oh my word. Right, kick off coming up. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, it's currently Southampton 1, Leicester City 0. Uh, half they probably started out with a lion's share going to Leicester City with them threatening on quite a regular basis. We then go and get a penalty from a handball in the penalty area right in front of us here. But unfortunately, James Will Prowse not able to put it past the goalkeeper. And a goal from open play from Alcaraz. A goal from open play, Jack. A goal from open play. I mean, you weren't at the Wolves game, so I've seen Alcaraz school from open play and be one nil up at half time and oh I don't remember how that ended let's forget that but honestly yeah the first 10-15 minutes Leicester all over us for the possession but I think that energy from Lavia and Alcaraz in the midfield has been so good so dynamite uh, Walcott going forward has been great whipping that ball in you know he, got, he won the penalty which is great stuff once they got into the game we looked really really good it does look good I mean Theo Walcott's doing a decent role down here on the right hand side also Ainsley made a nod has had a bit more of a physical presence against Harvey Barnes but I mean it, it started off kind of nervy but I do feel that Leicester can be beaten today it does have that feeling to it when, when, when he, he stepped up to hit the penalty in my sort of deep half heart I was like I think he's going to miss this and how we react from that is always important and how the stadium reacted and how the team reacted after that is perfect you know what any other game any other t against Nathan Jones they would have gone down the other end and scored that and yeah. that last on that attack but cooler heads prevailed so, and everyone seems so up and with it there's just something about the team or the way they're playing today I feel really if we come out second half and Elianusi's on for Alcaraz yeah, he does look to be injured understandable because he looked like he was really struggling towards the end but that the energy he's got has been amazing so you know I'm, ex I'm excited for the second half but really good really good response from that penalty really good response I mean it is a nervy nervy tie but we got to be picking up three points. I mean, three points is what's going to get us out of trouble. You know, if we get start getting more draws, it's going to be a, a slow old slug. But it, it, I do feel like this is a game that, that could be won. Um, I think we're going to need a second goal. Um, but let's hope that comes to be. 6-1 still on. 6-1 is still on. That's a lot to do. It's There's a lot to do. Amazing second half. <laughs> right, second half coming up. Uh, still on the pitch. Five minutes of stoppage time, it's still Southampton 1, Leicester City 0. We are holding out for a clean sheet as it stands at this point in time. Our crowd has gone the first half, the only difference between these two sides at the moment. We have been under the cosh pretty much for the majority of what the second half. It's got to be clever, it's got to be clever. Had the nerves, Jack? Um, they're absolutely shot, I'm absolutely fried, and I can't go on no more. That's pretty much uh, our emotions here. Absolutely shaking. Leicester haven't had a good game though, have they? Let's, let's be honest, they haven't been great. No, there's, there's been nothing really at the top there. If I was a Leicester fan, I'd be very annoyed. You know, there's just kind of, not a lot of performance there, but I'm just still thinking this next couple of minutes, they're going to pull something out. 
because they've got the bodies, but I'm nervous, boy, I'm nervous. Yeah, this is a nervy, nervy time. All Prowse picking up a yellow. This is what I've got Leicester on. with a three kick. Final minute of stoppage time. Still in play, still in play. The corner ball to Leicester, how much time? 30 seconds left to play. Deal with this and we got a bit of hope. result would take us up the bottom of the table putting Bournemouth at the foot of the table in our place is this going to be it everyone's looking at the ref this will be our first win in the league here at St Mary since August 2022 come on ref's letting it play Seven to one, let's see now. We are off the bottom of the table. Yeah. <laughs> As always, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.